The brackets are officially set. Seven teams both in the East and the West as well. It's officially playoff time. This is your AT&T countdown to kickoff. Jason Longshore and Joe Freihofer. The hell is real slate is in front of us. We already took care of FC Cincinnati getting a big 2-2 result over there in their place against the Supporters Shield winners for 2023. A big result ahead of playoffs that we've got to analyze. Before we get to the Columbus crew, we'll talk about lower.com field here shortly. But Jason, it was one of the hardest fought results to end the entire season. Extremely physical that saw Yorgos Yakamakis two times boom Yakamakis counter right away make himself comfortable. His presence felt nearly put himself with the chance there for that golden boot race towards the very end. And in the end, we ended up going a man down to finish that 90 extremely physical throughout. Okay, he had two goals, so give me a playoff level, boom, Yakamaki. Boom, Yakamaki. There, we, there go. we go. Now we're, we're ready to go. Now we're back. Look, I, I think you got a lot out of this game against Cincinnati that you didn't really ask for, to be honest. This is a situation where Tiago Almada gets sent off. You have to play with 10 men. You have to fight and scrap and claw and hold on to a result which is what you're probably gonna have to do in the postseason at some point. I think this game is a gift in a lot of ways of confidence for this team because you go on the road in game one in the postseason, you know you can deal with a hostile atmosphere, you know you can deal with adversity, you know you can hold on and defend in the way that you have to do when it comes to playoff time. This was a great preview of the playoffs, something Gonzalo Pineda talked about going into decision day. That's what he was looking for, was replicating what a playoff game is like and the adversity of being on the road. He got that even more with the red card to Tiago Almada. So now you go into this game in Columbus, you don't have Tiago Almada. How do you deal with that? I think you feel better about those chances after what we saw in the second half in Cincinnati. Arguably the biggest question heading into this matchup now, what do they do in that midfield? Plenty of questions were asked during media yesterday of Gonzalo Pineda. Will he switch up the formation? What personnel will be brought into the midfield? We've seen tons of rotation and the word of depth has been a word that Pineda's brought up so much more. He's going to need it now more than ever. Missing is number 10 for this first match. Yeah, look, you've got a lot of possibilities here. And when you talk about Atlanta United and what you can do, you're going to play the same way. And I thought that was something that Gonzalo made really clear yesterday with the media. The style doesn't change. The formation might, the personnel might. The style doesn't change. This is a team that wants the ball. Columbus wants the ball. So somebody's not going to have it. I think we saw Atlanta deal with not having the ball against Columbus at the Benz pretty well. Pretty well, especially once they fell behind and in going for the game, things turned a little bit. But how you decide to replace Tiago Almada, because somebody's got to start. I don't know if it's another forward. I don't know if it's another center back. I don't know if it's another midfielder. You don't have a like for like replacement. So what that looks like is fascinating. And I think, again, it's a little bit of an, an unintended gift because if you're Wilfred Nancy sitting in Columbus preparing for Atlanta, you have no idea what Atlanta United is going to look like in game one. No clue. He's got to prepare for every different possibility. That can be a distraction that might help Atlanta United. Wilfred Nancy, the gaffer of the highest scoring side of MLS regular season this year. Cucho Hernandez was one of the biggest parts of that attack. He finished the season just one goal back of Yorgos Yakamakis' total. An extremely physical striker in a side that likes to build up and play very fluidly. They're also quite aggressive in pressing as well. And Wilfred Nancy has been super creative as a manager overall, pulling lots of different strings in the matchups that we've seen against them so far this season. Yeah, we saw, we saw Sean Zawadzki play as a wing back at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but tucked inside, very different than Yaw Yaboa played that wing back role. That gave Atlanta United problems, and Gonzalo talked about that in media yesterday. It was difficult to deal with. So what does Columbus have in mind? Again, they're gonna be a little confused about what Atlanta's approach is gonna be. They do have options. They have a number of talented players. We can go deep through that roster and talk about guys like Alexandru Matan, who I think is criminally underrated in this league. The holding midfield duo of our old friend Darlington Nagby, Aiden Morris, that's as good as it gets in this league. So you have a lot of things you have to worry about if you're Gonzalo Pineda in preparing for Columbus without Tiago Almada, but you also have more depth than you've had all year long. And you have winger rotation, you have central midfield rotation, you have the third center back now, you have third for three forwards up top with uh, Jamal Tiare into the mix along with Miguel Berry and Yorgos. So lots of possibilities. The chess match is gonna be fascinating in this one. 
and it'll all unfold as usual through the MLS season pass on Apple TV. We'll both be taking the road trip to Columbus, Ohio, staying in the state of Ohio, this time around taking on leg number two of the Hell is Real rivalry. Some switch ups on the radio broadcast for this one. Yeah, we're moving over to Star 94. We will be on at seven o'clock on Star 94. You can still listen on the Odyssey app on the Atlanta United app. It's a long five stripes countdown because kickoff will be closer to eight o'clock with this game also on FS1. The star sets the bar. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Freihofer. This has been your AT&T Countdown to Kickoff. Time to add another one above our badge as the Five Stripes head to Columbus, Ohio. Round one action is on. 17s. We'll see you there.